Hey everyone, it's Sabrina. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad that you're here. I'm going to be putting together my Archer and Olive journal pages in my B5 journal. I'm going to be starting with obviously May, but I'm just going to do the first half of May. And what I did here on this cover page is I kind of went through my stash of different uh, ephemera and different companies and I kind of pulled out things that I really liked that were pink and orange and yellow and I even pulled out some digital flowers I had printed from Kelly stamps and so I decided to use those and I just went to town. I had a lot of fun putting in all these different flowers and also pulling out a Crafty Jen Scow old stamp set. I wish she still made stamps, but she doesn't and that's okay. But I'm going to pull that out in just a minute to add in some more stamped florals and also um, two different phrases. So it's kind of going to be a diagonal design that's going to stretch across both pages. I always tell myself I'm going to keep it simple. Well, I kind of did for April, right? If you saw April's video, I did somewhat, but... <laughs> In May, I got carried away. I was just having so much fun and I really wanted to use all these different pieces like the Be Kind, Here and Now, and the Ticket, and the Five are all from Heidi Swap. So I really used up a ton of stuff from my stash. And actually my stash is in all these acrylic drawers and I'm gonna do a updated desk video. Um, I think I'm going to do it Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday is the day that that video is going to come out and so I'm excited to show an updated uh, what my desk looks like and how I've organized all my different ephemera and uh, how I'm trying to use my stash more. So I am stamping some yellow flowers and some pink flowers and then some green leaves. And I did a main phrase over on the left hand side page and it is grow through it. I also did you grow girl kind of in a diagonal line down in the bottom right hand corner and just kind of figuring out where I need to add in another little bit of orange because I felt like the page needed some more orange. And the love die cut, I feel like that was a good way to anchor down that section and also the quote that was there. I start to stamp May in yellow and I it felt like it was just going to get lost. So I stamped it in black and I'm going to finish up with a few little black stamping splattering and that will be it for my opening page and I just love it. I had the best time making it and to me that is kind of the point of journaling is to just have fun and have a different way to use my creativity. The next page is my calendar where I kind of plan out my YouTube videos or if I have any creative deadlines um, and I am going to stick with a blue and green type of theme. I have some more stickers from Alicia Michelle. In my last video, you know, I used a ton of her stickers while well, I wanted to use them again and um, I'm really excited to do this blue and green color scheme. I also found a washi tape in my stash that I had never used. It was from Studio Calico and it has a bunch of cactuses on it, but there's also like, to me, deep purple blue cactus on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that. When I start to stamp my days of the week, I'm actually gonna start with Monday because I do Project Life and I've done it since 2009 oh my goodness that's a long time and ever since I started doing project life I've always done my weeks Monday through Sunday um but I've always read my calendar Sunday through Monday it was weird to me and it was starting to get weird so I just decided you know what I'm going to do Monday through Sunday and I also changed my book reading journal calendars to also do a Monday through Sunday format the Saturday was in the crease, so I knew as I stamped it that I was probably going to goof on one of the letters. So I just took a separate piece of paper, stamped Saturday, and cut out the A that I needed and glued it down. Perfect, and you can't even tell that little boo-boo quote-unquote mistake. Here's the stickers from Alicia Michelle. They are called Good Energy and they are just so pretty. And since that washi tape, like I said, had some of that blue and like deep purple, 
I knew it would work perfect. So I put the washi down at the bottom and then I am going to figure out what marker I want to use for the dates and then add in my stickers as well. So I'm going with a blue and I will just fill in the dots for the dates and then add the dates. And um, I also am going to add my YouTube calendar up in the top right corner. So you can see I was counting the days and trying to figure out where do I need to put 30 and 31. So I just did a half for uh, 23 and 24 and it will just work. It'll work just fine. The YouTube will go in the top right corner and below that of course is my weekly goals. Um, I shoot for the moon when it comes for to my lofty goals as far as you know what I can accomplish in a week. But I like having this right hand sidebar. I think that's kind of what you'd call it as a sidebar as a way for me to kind of pin down the main things that I want to work on. Like one of the things that I started this month was working on my next big picture class. I'm gonna be teaching about digital stamps. And so I'm very excited about that and I have started to work on that. I also am trying to remember to uh, get some labels on the different categories that I finally decided for everyday everyday explorer stamps oh my goodness you guys took me so long to decide on categories so those are kind of the things that I put down for my weekly goals I put you are capable down on the bottom right corner and then the other one that I really wanted to use was let your soul shine so I went ahead and just cut that apart so I could put it up in the top the sticker sheet also comes with some blue X's so I added a few of those and then a little bit of stamping in green and that will finish up this calendar spread and again like I said I love this color scheme blue and green it's always a fun one to work with my next Next uh, page will be the tracker. This is where I keep track of like my moods, my goals, and all the currently things that are going on in life. I chose pink and green and black to work with. Those are kind of another really fun color scheme, especially in May. And again, I'm sticking with the same format that I've done on all the other months. It makes it very simple and very easy. I have noticed that because this page can get lost when I'm journaling throughout the weeks, that I need to put some sort of small tracker in my passion planner. That way I can cross it off in my passion planner and then go back and fill out this page that works much better especially when it comes to my goals because I can forget about my goals because this page is not the page that is open during the week so having a little tracker in my passion planner as well has been really helpful to make sure that I you know can keep track of these uh, trackers so I put down happy, meh, and bad, no good. And I picked three markers that were very different from each other. I have a habit of picking the same like hue and color, like three different types of pink for my emotions. And I keep telling myself, Sabrina, don't do that because you're not going to remember which marker to use. So I just picked three very different ones. Layered three washi tapes up in the right hand corner. Then I'm going to go ahead and pick which currently topics I kind of want to write about this month. I know I'm going to include currently listening because I didn't, I haven't done that one for a few months as far as like what I'm listening to, podcast or music. So I'm going to keep track of that and also uh, currently eating. I think I brought that one back as well. I also took that green washi tape and I left a big strip right here below the tracker, but for up above the currently, I did a small one. Okay, so when I make my goals, I put down the boxes first and then I'm going to lay over the dates. Then I will lay over Monday through Saturday. The final step will be to choose what I kind of want to focus on this month, like maybe something I'm slacking on, like uh, bedtime. I am not adhering to a bedtime. I'd much rather read. But I'm sure I'm not the only one who would much rather read than go to bed. Wish I didn't have to be an adult in the morning and I could just keep reading. So 
Bed by 11 is on there and I also put on like a nightly phone cleanup as far as photos or videos and that way I can like hold myself accountable and I don't have to wait till the end of the month to do a massive purge of videos and uh, photos. I have stamped currently reading and currently eating. Now the last circle on that circle stamp for the bullet point list did not stamp so I went ahead and fixed that with just a paper mate flare black pen and it works perfect so the next ones we're currently exploring currently loving and then currently listening and currently watching and I included four to five bullet points for each of them also included a currently making section <laughs> again I noticed I am not finishing the projects in my currently making they just keep getting pushed to the back corner but I did finish up Thursday 3 volume 1 so that is done and this time for one of the currently making projects I am forcing myself to remember to print some photos for week in the life 2020. I'm going to finish up this spread with just a little bit of icon stamping with green leaves and a pink sun. So just a little bit of those sprinkled throughout the page and then I will move on to the first weekly spread for the month. And I hope you guys are enjoying this video so far. I would love to know if you guys journal and leave a comment in the comment section if you guys enjoy journaling. All right, so this is the first week of May and I'm keeping things pretty simple with a printable kit from Quinn, the Mindful Hookup. I will leave her information in the description box. But I love her printables and I was going through my stash and I found those and it was actually a kit from May of 2020, I wanna say, and I still love it and I love the color. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that and I picked out several different pieces that I had already actually printed on sticker paper. There was even a set of days of the week and I will use that. Also found a girl that's doing yoga, so I decided that was perfect for Mother's Day. Um, kind of seemed perfect for Mother's Day. I had a little calendar sticker that said May, so I went ahead, filled out the dates, and then put that right over the top of the May that I had already stamped because I just liked this sticker better. I am adding in a notebook paper sticker and I'll just add in a quote. I post quotes every day on my Instagram so I'll just pick one of those and write it down on the notebook paper. Adding in a light bulb and also a stone and XOX. So there was a few of those in the printable kit and so I added those and also the days of the week. I found a lady sticker that's doing yoga and that was be perfect for Mother's Day and just kind of a little bit of irony right there, right? Down in the bottom right corner, I have a note that is clipped to uh, a binder clip, obviously, and then the sunflowers and a flower. So just random little bits and pieces that I found from this kit that I felt like went really well together. I love the soft pink and a little bit of yellow and blue added in here's to strong women 100% grit and doing my best took two different stamps from two different places and stamped out mom life and I love how that came together just so I could um, put in a little nod to Mother's Day and I messed up on life so I went ahead and just put it on paper and that'll be good enough adding in the dates to finish up this spread and I love it. It's definitely one of my uh, more simple and clean, clean uh, layouts. So there you go, you guys. I hope you have enjoyed seeing the start of my May pages. I would love a thumbs up or subscribe if you are new to my channel. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.